if I had one wish in my life, why, I'd like to live in McDonald's, <laughs> right there in the restaurant. I'll come up to the brow of the hill, bowed down with my troubles, hurting under my load, and I'll see that yellow horseshoe, sort of like part of a rainbow. It gives my old spirit a lift. Lord, I can sit in a McDonald's the whole day. I've done it too. Walk the seven miles with the sun just on its way and then sat on the curb for five minutes till five to seven. First one there and last to leave. Just like some old French fry they forgot. I like the young people working there like a team of fine young horses when I was growing up, all smiling. Tell you what I really like, though is the plastic. God gave us plastic so there wouldn't be no stains on his world. See, in the human world of the earth, it all gets scratched, stained, you know, tore up, faded down, loses its shine, all of it does in time. Well, God, he gave us the idea of plastic so we know what the everlasting really looks like. <laughs> See, if there's plastic, then there's surely eternity. <laughs> it's God's hint. You ever see anybody die in a McDonald's? <laughs> oh, sir, no way. You know, Folks are dropping in Burger Kings all the time. <laughs> well, Kentucky Fried Chicken's got their own damn ambulances. <laughs> no, you can't die in a McDonald's no matter how hard you try. It's the spices <laughs> seals you safe in this life like it seals in the flavor. Yes, yes. I asked Gerald, could I live there? Well, see, they close down around 10 o'clock and there ain't a damn thing going on in them till 7 a.m. I'd just sit in one of those nice swingy chairs and lean forward, rest my head on those cool, cool, smooth tables, <laughs> sing me a hymn and sleep like a baby. Gerald said he'll write him a letter up the chain of command. See, would they let me? No, oh, I got my bid in. Peaceful and clean. Sometimes I'll see it like the last of a movie. You know how they start the picture up real close and then back it off, steady and far? Well, that's how I dream it. I'm living in McDonald's, and it's real late at night, and you see me up real close smiling, and then you see the whole McDonald's from the outside, all lit up and friendly, and I get smaller and smaller, like they do, and then it's just a light in the darkness like a star, and I'm in it. I'm part of that light, part of the whole sky, and it's all McDonald's. But it's part of something even bigger, something fixed and shiny, like plastic. <laughs> oh, I know. I know it's just a dream. Just a beacon in the storm. But you got to have a dream. It's our dreams make us what we are. <laughs>